Welcome everyone. In this video on file and folder management, I'll show you how to use the folders panel here in the library module to rearrange or reorganize your folders and photos. I'll also show you how to delete folders and photos and a few other tasks as well. Now for me, this isn't the fun part of Lightroom. That's the develop module. But I consider these skills to be some of the most important you can have not only because it will help you to be organized, but also because it will help you to avoid some really painful mistakes. Let's take a look at how to set up the folders panel so that it shows you where your photos and folders reside on your hard drive. You certainly can just hover over a folder and it will tell you where that folder resides. But in order to use the folders panel to reorganize your folders, you need to see the folder structure. Often starting out, users instead simply have a list of the folders that have been imported. To reveal the structure, right-click on one of your folders and choose Show Parent Folder. If you don't see the Show Parent Folder option, it's because you already have the parent of the folder you right-clicked on revealed. I'll show the parent folder, and we see that my Savannah Workshop folder resides within my 2005 folder. To see where 2005 resides, I'll right-click on it and choose Show Parent Folder. 2005 resides in Photos Go Here. Revealing 2005's parent also revealed the structure for my other folders that live within this date structure. I want to see where Photos Go Here lives, so I'll right-click on it and choose Show Parent Folder. Do that as many times as you need to, to reveal your folder structure for all of your folders. All of mine live within my Pictures folder. I could reveal the parents of pictures to see that this lives within my Laura folder within my Users folder, but this is enough for me. Now the Folders panel does what I think is most important, and that is to tell you exactly where your photos and folders reside on your hard drive. So that should no longer be something that you're not clear about. As I mentioned in my introduction to Lightroom video, Lightroom doesn't own or have its own copy of your photos. It just looks out to your hard drive and references those photos. Now that we have the folder structure revealed, we can use it to reorganize our folders. I have an old photos folder. My goal is to get these individual shoots down into my master structure of shoot folders within year folders within Photos Go Here. I'll start with my Montana folder. I'm not sure when I photographed these, so I'll select a photo and then I'll open up the metadata panel here on the right side and I'll make sure I'm on the default view here and I see that the capture date was in 2005. I have a 2005 folder so I'll click on my Montana folder, hold and drag it down to 2005. So my goal is to let go when 2005 becomes highlighted. If you move folders or individual files, you'll get this warning. It sounds really dire, but it really isn't. What it's saying is that because when we're moving folders and photos, we're actually moving them on our hard drive, when you do a move, you can't go up to Edit Undo or Control or Command Z to undo it if you change your mind. That's okay though, we can always move it back. If you get tired of seeing this warning, you can click on the Don't Show Again box. But I do find that it's handy. If I drag a folder and I let go a little too soon so that I'm accidentally going to drop it in the wrong folder, this gives me the option to back out of that move. In this case, though, I'm going to go ahead and click on Move. I don't have very many images in my folders, so the moves happen very quickly. Yours might take longer. You can watch their progress in the status bar up in the Identity Plate area. Now Montana's down in 2005. Next, I want to rename this folder to include the date. If that's not important to you, you certainly don't need to do that. The folders here sort alphabetically, so having the date at the beginning allows them to sort chronologically. The date for this shoot was June 27th, so I'll right-click on this folder and choose Rename, 
and I won't start typing because that would wipe out Montana here. I'll click at the beginning to put the cursor there, and then I'll put June 27th, and then click Save. I'll click on the edge here and drag to the right to make the panel a little wider. Next I'll go to Oregon Coast. These were shot in 2009. I don't have a 2009 folder yet. I want it to go inside of Photos Go Here, so I'll right click on Photos Go Here and choose Create Folder Inside Photos Go Here. I'll name this 2009. I won't include selected photos. That would just put this one selected photo in my 2009 folder. I'll click Create. Here's my 2009 folder with zero photos. Now I'll click and drag Oregon Coast down and drop it on 2009 and move. As I alluded to earlier, as we're creating folders, renaming folders, and moving photos or folders, we're making these changes to our hard drive. So if in Finder or Windows Explorer I went out to my hard drive, I would see, for example, that I've moved Oregon Coast into my 2009 folder. Doing this reorganization from within Lightroom is convenient because we can easily see all of the photos in each of the folders. But it's also really important. If instead of doing it here with the Folders panel, we went out to Finder or Windows Explorer and reorganized out there, Lightroom would not see that happen, and we would break Lightroom's links to the folders and photos. And we'd end up with question marks on our folders and exclamation points on our photos. I'll show you in the next video how to resolve any of these question marks and exclamation points you might have. But my message to you now is to do all of this reorganization here in Lightroom with the Folders panel. You can also move multiple folders at once. If they're next to each other, click on the first, then hold the Shift key down, and click on the last, and then drag from inside any one of them. If they're not next to each other, click on the first, and then hold the Control or Command key down, and click on any additional ones. I'll select these two and drag down to 2009. And I'll click on Move. Selecting multiple folders can also be handy simply so that you can see photos from those multiple folders here in the grid. My old Photos folder now is empty, or it appears to be empty anyway. We no longer have any photos in Lightroom from this folder. It is possible that this folder still has photos or even other documents out on my hard drive that I never imported into Lightroom. If I want to go check that, I can right-click on it and choose Show in Finder or Show in Explorer. Here's my old Photos folder, and it is in fact empty. Because it's empty here in Lightroom, I can right-click on it and choose Remove. If it's empty on my hard drive, Lightroom will delete that folder for me. If there's still documents or files out there on my hard drive, it'll remove the folder from Lightroom, but it won't delete it from my hard drive. The next thing I'll show you is how to move photos from one folder to another. These photos are taken by astronauts and are free to the public from windowsonearth.org. Here in the folder, I have some photos that should be in my Montana folder. We'll simply select them and click and drag them to the folder. Now, I have a precise way of telling you how to select photos. It sounds silly, and 95% of the time you'll be able to get away with ignoring what I say, but 5% of the time it becomes really important. So I'll leave it up to you. To select a photo, click in the gray border not in the thumbnail. Once the photo is selected, click from inside the thumbnail and drag it to the folder you want it to go into, and click on Move. I'll select this first photo. If I want to move this, but I don't drag from the thumbnail, I drag from the gray border, absolutely nothing will happen. So drag from the thumbnail. Let's look at selecting multiple photos. I'll collapse this right-hand panel by clicking on the sideways triangle. To select several photos that are next to each other, click on the first, then hold the Shift key down as you click on the last one. Then take your finger off the Shift key. Once they're selected, 
click from inside any one of the photo thumbnails. If I click from a gray border instead, it deselects my selection. Click on the first, hold the shift key down as I click on the last, then drag from inside any one of the thumbnails, and I'll put these in my Montana folder. You can see why some people choose to don't show again. To select photos that are not next to each other, click on the first, then hold the Control or Command key down as you click on each additional photo. If you accidentally select one that you didn't mean to, hold the Control or Command key down and click again to deselect it. Once they're selected, take your finger off the Control or Command key, and now you can drag them into the folder they belong in. Of course, I'm putting these in the wrong folder. So that's moving photos to a different folder. Let's go into a folder and talk about arranging photos within the folder. Right now, they're arranged by capture time. Down here in the toolbar, we have a sort option, and it's set to capture time. If you don't see your toolbar, type T for toolbar. If you have the toolbar but you don't see sort order, click on the downward triangle and choose sorting. If you want to reverse the order, click on the Z to A button here. You can click where it says Capture Time to see other options. You can also manually rearrange your photos. Maybe you're doing a slideshow and a different order would flow better. Select your photo by clicking in the border and then click and drag from inside the thumbnail until you get the black line where you want to slot the photo and then let go. You can also move multiple photos. I'll click on the first here, then hold the Shift key down as I click on the last and then I'll drag from inside any one of the photo thumbnails, and I'll move those. Let's say that I want to put this photo in between these two. I'll click inside the thumbnail, and I'll drop it, but it didn't go anywhere. So what's the problem? The problem is that I ignored my advice. I didn't select the photo by clicking in the gray border. Because of that, I still have all of these three photos selected. I was just so focused on dragging from the thumbnail that I didn't notice that. So to move this photo, click in the gray border to select it. I do that because it automatically breaks apart any selections that I previously had. Now click in the thumbnail and drag it. Now I realized I forgot to mention one critical tidbit about reorganizing photos within folders. In order for that to work, you need to be in a folder that has no subfolders. But before I show you that, I just noticed that I put these two within Oregon Coast. So that's not good. I'll click and drag up to 2009, and I'll move. OK. So moving photos will not work if you're in a higher level folder that has subfolders. I can't rearrange photos in my 2009 folder. I'll get this message that custom order is not supported. So only in a folder with no subfolder. Or in a regular collection. I haven't gotten to collections yet, but you cannot rearrange photos in smart collections, and you cannot rearrange photos if you're up on one of these catalog selections. After importing, usually this line is highlighted. You won't be able to reorganize here go down to the folder. To get to the folder that particular photos reside in, for example this one, right-click on it and choose Go to Folder in Library. Lightroom jumps me down to the folder that this photo is in. Next I'll show you how to delete photos. Select your photo, then you have a couple options. You can right-click in it and choose Remove Photo, or you can hit the Delete key on your keyboard. You have two options. Remove will remove it from Lightroom, but it will still be in this folder on your hard drive. Delete from disk will remove it from Lightroom and delete it from your hard drive. Sometimes people choose remove and then they wonder why their hard drive is still filling up so fast. I think in most cases, delete from disk is going to be the option that you want. At least it is for me. I don't want photos out on my hard drive that I'm not seeing in Lightroom because I won't even know that they're there. So when I want it gone, I really want it gone. 
I'll click Cancel for now, though. Next, I want to show you a mistake that people make that can be really painful. I'm going to select a few photos, click on the first, shift, click on the last, and I'm going to put these at the beginning of the folder here. And then I'm going to delete this middle one. So I'll click in it and hit the delete key on my keyboard, and then I'm going to hit delete from disk. But what did I just do? When I went to select this photo, I clicked in the thumbnail. I didn't click in the border, so I didn't break apart my selection. So in fact, I'm deleting three photos. However, I'm so used to deleting photos that I don't bother to read this. I hit delete from disk and they're gone. Yes, they're in the trash or the recycle bin, but I might not realize that and I will lose my Lightroom work. So this is another reason why I say to select a photo, click in the gray border and then do whatever you need to do. I think the reason people get tripped up with this is that when you have multiple photos selected and you click inside the thumbnail of one of them, that one becomes brighter than the other ones in your selection. You still have all of them selected though. It's just you've changed which one is the active one in your selection. Which one is the active one doesn't make any difference in the work we've been doing in this video. It will come into play in later lessons. Finally in this video, I'm going to show you how to check folders to see if there are any photos that are not yet in Lightroom. I would suggest doing this if you think you've gotten all your photos imported. For example, in your Pictures folder, you could use this technique to check your Pictures folder to be sure. Now because I have lots of stuff in Pictures that I don't have in this particular Lightroom catalog for this demonstration, I'm just going to do this on my Photos Go Here folder. I'll right click on it and choose Synchronize Folder. Lightroom is counting all of the photos that might not yet be in Lightroom. It also found 28 that are currently missing. I don't want Lightroom to remove these from the catalog. I want to reestablish my link to those photos so that they stay in Lightroom. And I'll be showing you that in the next video. Scanning for metadata updates is fine. That really only comes into play when you're working with different applications that use the same photos, or you're using multiple catalogs that access the same photos. And most of us aren't doing that. I am going to choose to show the import dialog before importing so that I can back out of this if I decide I don't want these thousand photos to come into Lightroom. I'll click on Synchronize. Lightroom opens the import dialog with Photos Go Here selected and on the New Photos tab it shows me all of the ones that I'll be importing. Notice that it's only 972 it's not 1033. That's because about 60 of them are duplicates. And Lightroom is set here to not import duplicates. After reviewing these, I could choose to click on Import or I could click on Cancel. But that's a way to make sure you have all of your photos in Lightroom. In the next video, I'll show you the consequences of, of reorganizing photos and folders outside of Lightroom instead of using the folders panel like I just taught you to and what you can do to resolve any issues that you've created. This concludes the video on file and folder management.